All right, guys, what we're wanting to talk about here is our percentage of one rep max to repetitions relationship. So as you can see, we have our um, standard 100% to our 60% uh, maximum reps. And what we're going to talk about is how we're going to introduce this within a linear and nonlinear uh, training program for your client. So for example, if we're talking about bench press and how we're going to put that into our program, we would start out by lifting, say, 145, and we're going to work up. If that client can get 10 reps of 145, he's going to continue to go up until he reaches his one rep max. Once we get that one rep max, we can use this here to put together the program of how much reps we're going to do in percentages wise over a period. So the first week, we might work off of 60% and we would have 20 reps on bench at a certain, or at a certain uh, weight. And then over a two week period, we might work up to 75% and then 80% the next week. Um, there's different variations that you can do with it, but this is gonna give you your reps per each client's one rep max. Okay, so one rep maximum basically means it's the maximum load that the client can handle in a specific exercise for a specific number of repetitions. As the load gets heavier, then the reps are going to decrease, therefore finally reaching our one rep max. And then we're going to use that to put into our linear or nonlinear program, whichever one we decide that we need and it fits for the goals of the client.